So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this amazing lab. So first of all, click on Start Lab and open the console incognito window. Now, if you're new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel, guys. Now here, if you get any kind of pop-up, just click on I understand and agree and continue. And the first step is that we'll be activating the cloud shell. So let me show you how you have to activate it. Click on the icon next to the Gemini that will activate the cloud shell. You have to just click on it, click on continue and just authorize it. Now once the cloud shell is ready, in the description box of this video, I've shared one GitHub repository. We'll be using that only and there is no issue on using it. Here, wait for it to get completed. After that, we'll create one data flow job that is manually. And many of you are facing issue that the job is failing. Do not worry about it. Let me tell you how you can just create it. Once it will be done, you have to just click on the data flow URL. Wait for some time. It will be available soon. Meanwhile, do like the video and subscribe the channel if you want to complete other pre-assessment skill badges lab free courses or skill badges you can check the description for the master sheet now just wait for it to now get completed come to the task number five and copy the job name carefully carefully select the region as per the lab instruction for template just select it and just paste it over here select it and then just follow as i am doing you have to simply add the id like spanner id database id Similarly, BigQuery dataset, just add one by one as I am doing in the video. And at last, we'll run the job. And here, you will get one kind of error. Chances are there, you may not get also the error, but sometimes we get the error. So how to fix it, I will tell you in this lab only. Do not worry about it. If you click on run job, then here, sometimes what happens, the job gets failed. Okay, the job gets failed. Uh, sometimes what happens, the job starts running. You can see here, you can see here, it is showing failed status. In such case, what you have to do, you have to come back again to the first cell section and just open the data flow job again. Now here, repeat the same process. You have to just come to the number one, add the name over here. Simply here, just add all the values, all the things from template to data to database ID, all things spanner id just repeat the same steps which we have done earlier okay just repeat all the steps one by one then at last click on run job okay just click on run job and just carefully update make sure there is no extra space or dot and then at last click on run job now here sometimes what happens the job starts running automatically and sometimes it shows queued status you can see here it is showing this so in that case, you have to wait and keep refreshing. Once it shows running, we'll move forward to the next step. Basically, the most important step in which many of you are facing issue. So just wait for some time. It is at least two to three minutes, sometimes even early. If it shows running, then keep refreshing. You will be able to see it very soon. So finally, after four to five minutes, you can see now it's working. Now from the search box, you have to type spanner and open the spanner studio. Do not worry, each and everything will be covered, specifically step by step. Wait for the Spanner Studio to open, click on this instance and then after that you have to just wait for some more time and just use here. Come to the finance section and then you can see here one option is here. Okay, one option will come to enable the API or anything. You have to just click on it or you can just click on Spanner Studio which is present on the left side if it is not visible. Now here is the query. Now for the query, what you need to do, you need to replace the entire query which is present over here. In the description box, I have shared this one. Just collect it, remove entire content, paste it and run it. Here you can see it will show the row has been started and query has been queried. Now we have to just come back to the lab instruction and check the score. Now for the last task, sometimes what happens, it takes time to update the score. So you need to wait for at least four to five minutes more and then the score will be updated. So just wait for some more time. It will take some time. I repeat, it will take some time. You have to wait and then check the score.
just after four to five minutes try again checking the score you'll see you'll get the score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete the lab guys do like the video and subscribe the channel see you in the next one also check the description box for other things